Here we are again in Think Like a Machine with GM Arthur Kogan. Hello, Arthur. Hello, Noam. How are you? I'm fine. Yesterday you had a wedding anniversary, right? <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for reminding. <laughs> <laughs> so where the machine uh, is taking us today? So today we have uh, incredible positions with the... Uh, Superstars like Leko, Carson. Kramnik and Gelfand. And Gelfand, of course. We know him very well. We'll show today two games, and, but with the same motive. Right. Uh, and the motives are, one is a switchback, and we'll explain what is it. And the other one is uh, attacking in reverse. So let's start. Let's go for Leko against Carson. Leko Carson, 2007. Carson was in a kindergarten that time, no? <laughs> More or less, yeah. <laughs> but, he was, uh, but he was born strong. <laughs> he was born strong, exactly. You know that when he was a little bit more than 10 years old, uh, we played in the same tournament in uh, Norway and he lost against my wife. Against your wife? Yes. And after the game, I said that he's going to be a future world champion. I spoke to his father and uh, to his trainer, Agdestein, and even they mentioned it in the book. Okay. I won this tournament, that tournament, by the way, first place. Let's go, okay. We see the position. Uh, what's going on? So well, here we are. I yes. just move F2 to F4, attacking the knight. Want to play E3 to E4 and make like a pawn avalanche. Exactly, yes. Leko is playing in super aggressive style and uh, it's clear that he's having some compensation for the sacrifice pawn, right? He wants to have a huge center. But uh, Carson, Magnus, the young Magnus was uh, even more aggressive than ever today and he sacrificed the piece immediately. The idea is clear, he wants to play Queen H4, right? The White King is, looks quite safe. Yeah, on E2, there is only Queen and Bishop in attack, right? For the moment. Yeah, okay. So Leko accepted the, the Troya gift. Okay, Queen H4 is clear. King D2 only move because on King E2 there is Bishop G4 check. So King D2. And of course, with the old classical style of attacking players, Magnus played Long castle. It's look like from the 19th century, this game. Yes, Murphy style, no? Yeah, Murphy Anderson. Murphy Anderson waking up here. <laughs> <laughs> If White do something like D6, well, probably Bishop take D6 looks super attractive, right? Yeah, and uh, it looks like it wins. So in the game, uh, he decided to play a classical defense, very well known from the games of Steinitz. But uh, Steinitz said that the king can defend himself. It was his, one of his favorite sentences, you know, the king can defend himself. So Magnus, in aggressive, very aggressive style, he must continue before uh, White organizes his defenses. The rook, 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 rook on d5. Like Coach Noy, right? <laughs> like Coach Noy did against me when he was playing Blitz. <laughs> always, yes, he always taking rook or knights. Uh, <laughs> Screwing on the pieces was very hard to play against him like that. And uh, with a rook on d5 check, white is forced to take, of course. Yeah, otherwise he's mated. Yeah, but it's not so simple. You have to sit till the end here. After n d5. It's clear that Magnus had in mind the idea of queen e4, right? Queen e4 is very, very natural move because we are used to think in a queen h4, queen e4. You know, there is an expression, uh, it's called affordance. It's like, a, you know, sofa invite you to lay down and relax, right? Right. So if you put the, the, the queen in h4 and the king is open, you want to go to e4 and lay down like in a sofa. Exactly, exactly. But this is not the right move here. No, no, because as we know, we have many patterns that we learn since we are very young. 
And this looked like automatic pattern, right? Yeah, exactly. Double Instinct. attack and triple attack in reality, no? It's not only double, it's triple attack. Oh. Trading so what, ignite. What can right. be wrong in such, strong, such a strong move? Impossible to believe, right? But White has an amazing uh, defensive idea. Starting, first of all, we're defending against the mate, right? King e2. And the point is that now, after taking the rook, he's going to have knight b6 check. King has to move. If king go to uh, b8, white can probably eliminate the dangerous bishop and be fine, yes? So king c7. King c7 immediately make more sense, right? And queen a5, amazing resource. The queen is suddenly getting active. This is the, the, the main uh, aim of, or the, the main goal of king e2, to evacuate the way, the road. Exactly, exactly. Suddenly the queen and the knight participating in counter-attack and um, this kind of idea, uh, I think, saved finally Leko, even that he found it in the wrong way, right? And the game is started with the knight b6. And after uh, king c7, king e2, there is a little difference. From this position, uh, Carson played queen take h1 in the game. And after queen a5, we got to the same position where white has quite a lot of counterplay that finally helped him to make a draw. Instead of this, he could win. For the guys that are motivated to play better than a world champion, future world champion, you can take uh, some time. And here we go. So forcing lines, queen g4 check. If king d2, there is bishop b4, of course. And on king f2, queen h4. And mm. the bishops are working, working like knives, right now. Yeah, all the board. All the board, absolutely. Winning the queen, winning the game. So we can go back, right? Okay, so after nd5, yes. Black should have played better. And, and, and this is the, the moment that because of this moment, we have chosen the game. Okay. Let's see. Ta da da! Ta da da! Exactly. The amazing move here is putting the queen back home. Okay, let's see. We went queen h4. We go back queen d8 with uh, one piece less. And. Uh, now the threaten is bishop b4. Yes, queen take d5, but also bishop b4. Yeah. So indeed it's very hard to, to decide for this move because instead of triple attack, now we have only double attack. And backwards. And backward also that to, is very hard. To the initial position of the queen. Exactly, exactly. Very, very hard to see it from afar that you have okay. to take the queen away from the king, back home. Beautiful move. Beautiful and very hard, especially for uh, the people of us that grew up on the Russian stories, Russian, Russian chess school. We know that Russians never go back. You know, Noam. <laughs> Always winning the wars in chess and here to go back is very hard, definitely. After queen d8, what to do? So e4, bishop, bishop. But, but it's not over yet, it's not over. Not over, there's still resources, let's see. Okay, king, e2. Seems like only chance, right? And now, the natural queen d5 is uh, too hasty. Bravo for the, the nice English words. <laughs> <laughs> Google Translate. <laughs> because it gives white some time to reorganize. Regrouping his forces. Yes, yeah, something like rook g1, controlling g4. And seems like there is no, no good checks, yeah? The king is running away. Yeah. Proving the Stenitz was right, yeah? 
Not enough resources, suddenly. Not enough, yes. So, if, look up. Mm -hmm. so instead, queen, uh, queen d5, how can we keep our attack alive? Well, we can try another check, bishop g4. Okay, kf2. And king f2. Now the difficult point, but... Queen h4 again! Again. <laughs> Okay, so when you start this combination, you have to look to see queen h4, queen d8, and now another switchback. Queen h4, double switchback. Very hard. Very hard. Uh, and, and it's very hard when you don't know that it's there. Of course. Of course. Because, because also Carson probably was thinking that queen e4 is also winning, it looks stronger. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, here we just win by force the queen. Unbelievable. Or the game, yes. Also, you can try queen d2, by the way. But after queen take d5, check. King c2. I think we ignore the rook. We just give mate. Right on. And now, probably, we can win the queen with queen f5, but probably even mate, yeah? Queen c5 looks like a mate. Yeah, and it's, it's over. Game over. Here, a small mate. King b3, well, with queen c2, or Olala mate with the bishop. Yeah. Beautiful. So, so if, we, if we conclude this attack, we can see that there was a affordance trap in e4. This is, was a, like a one obstacle for Carlsen. And the second one is to see the, the, the double switchback and attacking in reverse. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah, welcome. And, uh, I'll meet you in the next, uh, in our next video. And next incredible moves by the machine. With big pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.